Pro is a ladder drill sequence built around three elements, hip flexor strength, dynamic footwork, as well as one-footed balance and stability. Let's go ahead and get started. This first segment here, we're really going to focus on our hip flexors, driving our knees up. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got a high knee all the way through, going down and back, grab the bands and focus on driving your knee. Ready? Go. One for each hole, one for each hole. A lot of arms, same thing, headed back. Powerful, powerful. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Next, we got our lateral high knee. Remember, this is all about hip flexor strength here. Okay, so be powerful. Drive them up. Here we go. Come on, be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick. Good. Nice way to start with the ladder. You can always start a little slow and then speed up as you go, all right? Best way to have fast speed. Here we go. Arm speed, arm speed, arm speed. There you go, there you go. Very good. Heisman now, we're going to focus on really sticking at the edges. You're going to shuffle, shuffle through. High knee. Good, very good. Come on, keep your pace. Quick, quick through the middle, quick through the middle. Good. You're gonna feel that burn with your hamstrings, gonna feel it burn in your glutes as you get up and catch. You know, the bands get stretched out. You're gonna start working that backside, all right? Here we go. Same thing on the way back. Gotta be explosive, be explosive. Quick through the middle, quick through the middle. Very good. Now we got our wide hops here. Let's take a look at this. You're gonna go wide feet. You're gonna make sure that you keep that ground as you hop through each piece, all right? Down and back, here we go. Good, keep those legs wide. Your hips and glutes are gonna be on fire. Same thing coming back. Good, push, push, quick, quick, quick. Good, and relax. You're gonna go ahead and unclip. We're gonna move into our res unresisted set. At home, make sure you do two to three resisted sets, followed by about two unresisted sets. Remember the unresisted sets are great for building a little bit of that neuro neurological foot speed. Your legs feel lighter so you can really focus on better footwork, quicker feet, okay? We're gonna run through same sequence here. These are gonna be our unresisted sets, all right? High knee straight through, ready? Go, oh, quick, 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 quick. Very good. Same thing, headed back. Quick, 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 quick. Very good. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Take your time a little bit. Take about 15 seconds. Need you to be fast. Need you to be explosive. Got to focus. As soon as that foot hits the ground, think about your next move. Got to go. All about being quick. Laterals. Here we go. Come on, fast, fast. More arms, more arms. Good. Very good. Same thing. Headed back. Go. Quick, 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 quick. He's got one foot in each hole there. Moving down the line. Very good. Now we got our Heisman. Big sticks on the edges. Big sticks. Good. Push. Come on, quick. Faster, faster, faster. There you go. There you go. He's got a rhythm now. Come on, push, push. Very nice. Great ladder drill sequence here. You got to stick at each end here. Deep breath. Take about five seconds. Catch your breath. Remember, the most important part about working with a speed ladder is foot speed. If you take your time, that's going to enable you to keep those feet moving each and every set. So if you get a little winded, take a couple seconds. Catch your breath. Get right back in, okay? Here we go. Good. He's got that knee driving up, knee driving up. Watch them arms, watch them arms. He keeps them moving, that gets his feet moving. Hands are in control of the legs, all right? Deep breaths here, got about 15 seconds off. Gather yourself, moving into that shuffle, shuffle lunge. All right, deep breath. Very good. Got a wide hops, wide hops. Ready? Push it now. Good, finish strong, finish strong. Good, relax. One more, headed back. This first portion here, remember, is all about your hip flexors. So just keep fast feet, but drive your knees up. That's what it's all about. You've got two to three resisted sets followed by two unresisted sets. Push yourself and really work for that foot speed. This portion here, we're really gonna work on some fancy footwork. Gonna move through a couple drills that's gonna challenge us to get a little bit better foot speed through dynamic movements. Let's go ahead and get started here. We've got the waltz first. Take a couple slow steps so we can see it here. Got it leading with the back foot. That's very important for you guys at home. Lead with the back foot. Let's go ahead and get them started full speed. Make sure you got the K-bands on here. Again, when we're working with the ladder, these 
K bands are gonna help develop those hips as we work on foot speed. Get two birds here with one stone, all right? Ready, push it here. Be quick, be quick. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Very nice, very nice. Staying under control in the beginning, getting the footwork down, and then you're gonna start pushing the pace, all right? Always thinking about that next step being quick, all right? Here we go, be fast now. Good, push, push, push. Very nice, very nice. Next move here, we're going with the scissor. Take your time, remember at the end. So we got about 10, 15 seconds off. Shake your legs around because the bands are gonna give you a little bit more burn. But as long as you're powerful, you're pushing through, you're gonna be able to maintain those fast feet and really work those hips. Got the scissor here, get them lined up. You're gonna crisscross, ready? Nope. Good, push it, push it, faster, faster. Very good. Challenge yourself now. As you get a little bit better, be quicker every rep. Be quicker every rep. You gotta mentally focus on being fast or you're never gonna get quicker. Foot speed's the name of the game here, all right? Deep breath. Get yourself in a rhythm. Get yourself in a rhythm and start pushing. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Good, way to work, way to work. Icky shuffle now. Let's take a slow little walk through while you take, catch your breath. Icky shuffle is a tap, tap. Get to the other side, gaining ground after each tap, just like that. Good. Deep breaths, gathering yourself, work with those fancy feet. You gotta be light, you gotta be quick, and you gotta think next step, all right? Here we go. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Gotta be quicker. Very nice, very nice. Way to work. Same thing, coming back, same thing, coming back. Deep breath, remember, one, two, outside. One, two, don't worry about taking that other foot out. We're just gonna go with the one tap, make you shuffle. Come on, be faster. A little bit of arms, a little bit of arms. Keep your rhythm, keep your rhythm. Good. Don't forget about your arms. Sometimes when you start working speed, you let these arms get lazy. Your feet are in charge. Your hands gotta move so you can stay in a rhythm, right? So keep them moving. All right? Deep breath, deep breath. Catching yourself here, moving with a torso twist. It's gonna be a bit of a different movement. You wanna think hip pointers here. It's gonna help you stay organized. So you line up, we're gonna go through a little slow deal. You turn your torso, turn your torso, and move it all the way down the ladder, gaining ground as you go. Deep breath. All right, tough one here, we gotta pick up. Here we go, here we go. Think hips, think hips, quicker, 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 quicker. There's your rhythm, there's your rhythm. Very nice. Stick with it through the early steps. You might find yourself a little bit Lack of days ago, you can't really get it going. Just stick with it. When you get to that halfway point, you're gonna find your rhythm and really start picking it up. Good. He's got it now, push it, push it. Good. Very nice, very nice. With those bands on, you're gonna have those bands stretched the whole entire time through that sequence. You're gonna work hips the whole time you're stabilizing. More stability means that you're gonna be able to make cuts much faster. If you got strength in your hips, when you're ready to move, that's gonna be able to be explosive right out of the gates. Work the speed ladder for foot speed, build the hips to help with cuts. Stay with it here. All right, we've got the shuffle, shuffle, lunge, okay? Shuffle, shuffle, lunge, all the way to the edge. Big lunge, big lunge. Chest up a little bit, there you go, come on, quick. Big lunge, quicker, quicker, there you go. Quicker, fast through the middle, fast through the middle, just like that, fast through the middle. Very good. Now in this exercise, you wanna make sure that you're staying on the same side of the ladder when you head back so that we work the other lunge leg. It's a quick one, two, get to the side, big lunge all the way across the ladder, working for a little bit of power here. Quick through the middle, big lunge. Gotta be faster, gotta be faster, there you go. Gain more ground, gain more ground, gain more ground, there you go. Good. Very nice. Push it, thinking about your next step. Always thinking about your next step. Good, quick, quick. Good, big breath here, relaxing. That's our resisted set. You're gonna do those two to three resisted sets and then you've got your two unresisted to follow. We're gonna move into our unresisted set. Keep your pace here for us. Now remember, you're gonna have a little bit more range of motion. You're gonna have that lighter feeling. Stay under control early and pick up the pace. This is when we really start working that foot speed. You don't have to concentrate about lazy legs. Now you can think next step, next step, all right? Starting with the waltz, moving through the scissor, onto the icky shuffle, all right? A lot of pace, let's move here. 
Good, good, good. Those are the feet. Those are the feet. Good work. Eight to ten second breaks, taking deep breaths, moving right back through. Remember, this isn't just your everyday ladder drills. We're moving through a couple sequences here to work different muscles, working the hip flexors. Now we're working fancy feet. Next, we're moving on to one-footed exercises. Going to be a great overall ladder drill sequence for you to put before your workouts. Ready here for the waltz? All right, push it here. Good, good. Always thinking about his next step. Each time he gets there, he's thinking about his next step. If you're thinking about the step you're on, you're only gonna maintain that same mediocre speed. Every single time you head through the ladder, you've gotta think quicker, quicker, quicker. Lighter feet, touch and go, touch and go. Got that scissor now. Get yourself in a rhythm early. Pick up the pace as you go. Here we go, good, good. More speed, more speed, there you go, there you go, there you go. Good, relax. Fans moving around on you, if you're unclipped, go ahead and take them off, not a big deal, throw them off to the side, anything you need to do. We're unclipped here, we need to move through full range of motion, all right? Scissor headed back. Here we go. Good, good. Hands now, stay in a rhythm, stay in a rhythm. Good, deep breaths, deep breaths. Keep your pace here, if you need to do less sets, that's okay. Build up to this, this is pretty advanced. Build up to this. Take deep breaths, catch your breath on the ends, never extending it too long. I'd rather you move with two minute restorations and do less times through and never go over that than taking five minute restorations and trying to pound out all these sets. Foot speed is the name of the game and if you're getting too tired and you've got lazy feet, we're not gonna get any better, so keep your pace, all right? Got the icky. Here we go, good. Those are fast feet. Next step, push, push, push. Very nice. On the home stretch, we got a little bit of that extended break in between this next superset, okay? Finishing strong. Ready, we got the icky, let's go. Push, push, push. Very nice rhythm, very nice rhythm. That's what you gotta do. Deep breaths, catching your breath. Working fast feet, okay? We're moving on to the torso twist. Remember, it's all about hip pointers here. Anytime that you're moving with your torso, you've got to think hip pointers. That's going to be in control of those angles. If you're thinking feet, oftentimes you kind of get in the scissor, and we don't want to do that. We want to be locked in place with our feet and moving all torso. Ready? Keep yourself in a rhythm. Think pointers. Good. Turn them over. Turn them over. Faster, 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 faster. Push, push, push. Good. Notice, for you folks at home, you gotta stay on the balls of your feet. If you're laying on your heels, you're gonna be slower. If you're not using your arms to use that rotational power, you're gonna be slower. Use your limbs, that's your leverage. You gotta use your arms, and you gotta think balls of your feet, nice and balanced, being quick. Ready to come back? Fast this time, you can do it. Push, push, push. There you go, there you go. That's a rhythm, come on. Very good, deep breath, deep breath. Got about 15 seconds off. Remember, if you need to get to 20, that's okay. 30, that's okay. If you're going over that, let's go ahead and cut the reps back. Cut some sets back. All right? Got that shuffle, shuffle, lunge. Make sure we're gaining ground over quick through the middle. On the home stretch here. Make sure your ladder's nice and... I keep pulling it tight. You probably need to do that at home as well. Make sure that ladder's tight so it doesn't get crumpled up on each other. You don't want your feet getting tangled, okay? Shuffle, shuffle, big lunge. Gotta be quick. Here we go. Quick through the middle. Notice how he's quick through the middle. That's where you need to be. You gotta be explosive. Even after you lunge and pause, you gotta be quick. Come on, faster, quick. There you go, quick. There it is, good. Very nice. One more, one more, you can do it. Good. There's a couple elements to that piece. When you get over to that catch, you got that knee up and loaded, your hips are locked, then you need to extend out and explode, okay? If you're lazy, if you let your center of gravity roll over that body too far, you're not gonna be able to get back over. Make sure you keep that hip line inside so you can jump over the ladder. In the inside here, it's all about quickness again. Foot speed, power. Foot speed, power. Finish it strong here. Good. Come on, quicker. There it is. Quick through the middle. Quick through the middle. Big jump. Quick through the middle. Come on, push yourself. Come on, finish strong. Let's go. Let's go. Very good. Two more. Last one. Last one. That segment's all about fast feet and being dynamic. 
There's a lot of different difficult moves there that you gotta practice until you get under control and you understand the movement and then it's all about foot speed. You gotta become quicker in these movements to help develop your speed during competition. This final segment through your ladder drills is all gonna be one footed. A lot of times during competition, you're gonna spend a lot of time on one foot. So we wanna make sure we've got a lot of dynamic strength and quickness off one foot as well. First exercise here, we're gonna go with the one foot in and out. So you're gonna be on the side, coming in, working down one side of the ladder. Let's go left foot or right foot works. Ready, go. He's working in, working out, working in, working out. Get up and over, up and over, being quick, being quick. Very nice. Again, you got your five, 10 seconds off to the side if you need to catch your breath. So if you're feeling fresh, go ahead and jump right in. We got our other leg coming back. Always thinking about the next spot your foot needs to be. The next spot your foot needs to be is what it's all about. Very good. Thinking quick, thinking quick. Keep a good center. A lot of the times your one footed movements need to be in your trunk. If you let your trunk lean too far to one side or the other, you're not gonna be able to keep moving. So let that center run all the way down that leg so you can really be functional and be quick. Next move here, we're going all the way across. We got that right leg, you're hitting the middle, other side, and gaining ground all the way down. Here we go. Good. Come on, come on, keep them working, keep them working. Think about where it needs to be. Push, push, very good. Other leg coming back. Take you 10 seconds here. That's a little bit tougher of one. The other one's a little quicker. So make sure you catch your breath here. We got our other foot zigzagging all the way down. And again, this is one of those where you want to have that torso control where your movements are going to go. So if you get to that edge and you come across the middle and you let that chest slide, you're, it's going to be real hard for you to come back. So really work to keep this trunk running down the middle of the ladder. It's going to help you keep your speed. Got our other foot. Here we go. Good. Good. Keep gaining ground. You're doing great. Fast feet, fast feet. Very nice. Last one here is we're gonna work that one foot moving lateral. We've got a down and a back on the same foot and we're gonna hit each hole moving down. Catch your breath, be explosive, be quick, fast as you can. You're obviously gonna be a little bit slower when you're working off one foot to two, but over time you're gonna be able to build that speed. Good. That's all right, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Good. With your lateral movements on one foot, you're gonna find that body really can get you moving a little too quick. So don't, don't let it control you, don't let it move you too fast. Facing the same direction as you came down with, facing the same direction, same leg headed back. Ready, go. Good, keep digging, keep digging. Very good. So now you've worked one leg going this way, one leg going that way, now we've got both lateral movements done. Now you're going the other leg, and head back down. These are no resisted sets. We're not gonna be using the K-bands here, you're not going to find that resistance with your legs spread. So just doing each of these two to three sets on the one foot all the way through, okay? Here we go. Good. Quick, 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 quick. Very nice. Facing the same direction. Five, ten seconds off so we can maintain that foot speed. Here we go. Think next move. Think next move. Come on. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Very good. Way to work hard through one, two, three, Reaction Pro. Remember, this is a drill sequence here with the ladder that's gonna take you through every element. You're gonna work your hip flexor strength with quickness. You're gonna work some of that dynamic movement as well as having that functional speed on one foot. Way to work hard. Be sure to leave me a comment below if you need any help at all or any advice during your training.